welcome for today's panel discussion. My name is Joshua Moturi. I am the moderator of today, and it's a great uh, pleasure to both to participate in the uh, panel with our guest and to welcome you to this event. As we all know, our technology today has advanced more rapidly. Gadgets like tablets, cell phones, and the computer connect to web, which allows us to upload and download information, which can quickly move through to social networking sites to an audience of hundred thousands, million, or even millions. This new this new form of communication connects us to millions or even billions of people across the world. The internet is an incredible tool that allows us to connect with the family and friends. We have invited you today to inform students about what they do online and how they use social networking sites and throughout the discussion they will identify risks and learn to minimize and overcome them. So according to research, 99% of teens use the internet and 77 of teens have a profile on social networking. You can just introduce yourself. I'm Victor Combo. I'm Okay. Question number one, what do you think are some unique aspects about uh, social networking sites? Uh, for me, social networking sites are websites that allow us individuals to build, up, to build a public profile where you can share information about your personal interests, photographs and blog entries. It's also a great way to connect with your friends. Okay, thank you. So, we all know that Facebook is the most widely used social networking site today. Can you cite some advantages of this site? Okay, the website allows us to share with others what you, we desire to share as public opinion. And you can even ask a question. You can also share your pictures, videos and what you have been up with your friends it is it is also it also provides a simple small chatting application that you can use to chat with your friends who are, who are on facebook find find your own old friends and colleagues who you have lost contact for years through facebook ads and fan page you can advertise your business prior in sharing information on the site is, is the information you post uh, online confidential? Actually, when you post information online, it can be viewed by everyone, but there is an option which you can select to make your profile private, which allows only those who you select as friends to do it. Since we have, we have discussion a lot of unique ways using the said social networking site, but what are some of the risks we should be aware of? Okay, where you are chatting online, you are never exactly sure who is on the other side of the of computer. Also, sometimes people say many things and post inappropriate photos and send harassing messages and inappropriate content and you can't always be sure who they are from. Sometimes people do this because you, they think that no one will discover who sent the messages. Well, that's a serious risk we should be aware of. People often falsely perceive that they are anonymous online and post comments that they might not say in person. It's important for, for us to control ourselves appropriately online because no matter how hard we try, can we can never retrieve what has been posted. You need to be cautious about the sites and profiles you link to feast. It's important when posting information online to protect your name, 
your identity and your reputation. Can you tell about an example of a crime maybe a crime maybe that is present on social networking site? Well, one example that I can cite is cyberbullying. In definition, cyberbullying is the use of social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter to others or threaten or intimidate intimidate some someone. This this is one of the common occurrence among teens of Facebook and if it goes far enough it can lead to a serious depression and among the victims of this. Thanks for sharing that example. That's why we need to be careful about our conduct online. We may think what we do online is anonymous, but it's not. If you, if, if you or someone you know is the, is the victim of cyberbullying, here are some of the tips on how to handle it. Ignore and never respond. Responding will only make the situation worse and provoking a reaction from you is exactly what the cyber police want, so don't give them a certification. The second one, it's very important that you don't seek revenge on cyber bully by becoming a cyber bully yourself. Again, it will only make make the problem worse if you could result in a serious legal consequence consequences for you. If you won't say it in person, don't say it online. Instead, respond to cyberbullying by telling your parents about it so that they can help you make an action on it. Or preventing communication from cyberbullying, just block the bully from sending future communication. All emails and instant messaging programs make it easy to block a sender. I am I'm happy to discuss all this with you and I really appreciate all of your comments and I hope that this discussion continues out to your schools and in it to your family and friends. Thank you for being here this day.